Good day, El Paso. Your local junk caller here, Charlie, AKA Dumpster Daddy. Um, I'm one of my homes away from home. We are here at Sam's. I uh, had an early morning client over here in the uh, Upper Valley, uh, 79932 area. Took care of him, repeat client. Our repeat clients have been keeping us afloat during this holiday season. It's hard to compete with Santa Claus when it comes to uh, anything. So now that that's done, uh, we have been doing a bunch of uh, uh, pickups for holiday trash from, from Christmas and New Year. So now it's time to get back into it, baby. Um, the topic that we we're, we're talking about today is called the foundation. We're laying the foundation for our business. We, me and my wife, we've been talking, been talking to another one of my homeboys. And the thing is, uh, foundation, baby. Um, when we went to and worked at the, in the corporate world, the first thing they did when, when they hired us on was they plugged us into traditions over there at the Walt Disney World Company or foundations, however you want to call it. So that's what we're working on right now. And I'm going to, uh, throughout the day, we're going to be talking about what we're doing for our foundation here at Dumpster Daddy. Right, so we are over here at um, Barco. This is Cardboard Recycling. Um, they're right back there. And uh, from my morning client, I picked up, and he always has a bunch of uh, cardboard for us all the time. Uh, he's been, um, I say, a, a day one. He was with us when, 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 right when we put the sidewalls up on our first truck, the F-150. Uh, he called us out. Him and his wife had just moved into this beautiful home in the Upper Valley area. Had a bunch of cardboard, said that uh, he called us out. We broke all that cardboard down. We fit it in the back of an F-150 pickup truck. And once we got done with that job, that man said, anytime he has any bulk trash, anything, he'll save his cardboard for us. And he'll call us out to come pick that stuff up. And he has been true to his word going on almost three years now. He probably calls us out, I would say every other month, maybe they just had a baby and about to have another one. <laughs> So that means he's gonna be calling us out even a lot more. So probably like once a month. Um, so we are really grateful for our repeat clients. Those guys, our, our uh, ladies and, and, and gentlemen hold us down 
uh, especially during these times when uh, we're a little bit slower, Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, so we're talking about foundations, um, and, and, the, uh, and, and our foundation is when we went to the Walt, when we worked at the Walt Disney World Company, they told you through all the hardships, and they made it personal for you. So we're gonna try to do our best to make this personal for you when it comes to our journey. Um, 2020, we moved out here to El Paso. Uh, the question was asked to me: Why would I move to El Paso? Why do junk removal? And I'll tell you why. Um, the main reason why we started junk removal, why we started Dumpster Daddy, and I'm going to get in close to you on this one, is because your boy wasn't going back to work for them people, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you wasn't going back to work for them people. You know what I'm saying? And when I say them people, I mean the corporate world. I mean, just wasn't going back to work for them people. It's time to strike out, do your own, do, do my own thing. And the one thing that I know I was good at when I was a child um, when, growing up, it, it, I, I was good at tearing up stuff. <laughs> we came to El Paso. El Paso presented us with the opportunity to start our own business in the junk removal business. Um, I, I just really wanted to apply and want to apply what we learned at the Walt Disney World Company. Uh, quick story, um, when, when we were working for the company, we had to perform these uh, these, uh, take the glasses off of this, these uh, basic walks, as they called them. Um, we had to get a, pick a cast member, I think it was like two a month, or one a week, or two a week, I don't remember. Um, but we had to perform basic walks where we went over the core values of the company with a cast member, and then we had to write the walk down and then email it out to our leaders so that they could read, you know, all of these emails coming to them from, for basic walks. So, um, so one day I was given a walk to a cast member and I believe they were an intern on the internship, the college program there. Uh, and I had a coordinator, his name, been with the company longer than I have. Um, coordinators are like our assistant managers. Um, and I was in Tomorrowland giving a walk and I told the cast member that they could take this college program experience, put it on their resume and then it'll open up all type of doors for them just because people wanted to come in or people wanted to bring you in to talk about your Walt Disney World experience. Uh, so the coordinator came up to me and he challenged me. His name's Ed. He challenged me. He said, hey, uh, I done heard you give a few of these walks. I done heard you talk to uh, these cast members selling them this dream of doing the college program will open up all type of doors for you, learning this system and uh, you'll be ready to go to work in any, any, any place in the world. He said, so you're selling this dream to those kids, those, these people who come in on that. He said, how about you do that? How about you, you show us how you can plug in the systems to your own thing that you learned at the Walt Disney World and make it work for you? So here we are, challenge accepted. That was in 2014, I believe, when I was over in the Tomorrowland area at the Magic Kingdom. So it is 2024, 10 years later. Uh, we figured it out, but that, that has always been in my memory bank of how to use or what I've learned, how to use what we learned at the Walt Disney World Company and apply it to something for our own selves. So here we go. Going to keep this journey going. Going to hop back in the truck. We got somewhere else to go, somewhere else to be. Um, so yeah, come along for the journey. All right, folks. So we had to jump in the, in, in the car, in the whip, uh, to come over to our business address, our business location. We had some mail. Um, deliver it to us. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go up here check it out. See what we got How you doing? What's happening? All right folks, so we have made it home back home we went to our <coughs> excuse me went to our office address uh, we got a call sometime last week saying that something was up there for us we got up there nothing was there so hopefully it wasn't something that was perishable coming from one of our or one, one of the hopefully it just wasn't nothing perishable so um, wasn't up there we'll give them an email the people who sent it to us and see what it was and go from there but as for right now, Dumpster Daddy, we're going to look at this footage. We're going to see what we got. We're going to see what we can pull out from it. 
But as for right now, we're going to call it a night. Dumpster Daddy is out.